Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today we're taking a look at yet a new switch from Akko. Akko has been releasing a lot of very interesting switches as of late and I will be reviewing all of them. Uh, they'll just be coming in time. Um, I've already taken care of the cream blue V3 and the cream yellow V3 as well as the silent penguins and the fairies but there's the botany um there's the mirror and there's their first clicky as well as some other ones oh and i also reviewed the rosewood this one is a pok um, material linear switch now it does say that it has a pok stem as well as a pok top but I was unable to find anything about what the uh, bottom base is made out of. I could take guesses, um, but I would, I would just be guessing. I do think that this is a, it's different than the Aqua Rosewood. And you can see my review on that one, which I found to be a very, nicely muted deep sounding switch this Akko it also has a bit of that muteness to it is it is a little bit lighter in spring weight than the Akko rosewood but it has a very defined and like i said it's not muted it's more of a more spread out bottom out I don't know if that makes sense. I'm guessing it's a combination of the design of the stem, as well as the fact that below the stem we have a hole, so we're not gonna have air pressure coming in the way of affecting if you're striking it too hard and it captures air in there. Air, when compressed, is more like a liquid, so it can actually prevent or add more force than you were expecting. Now, taking a look real quick at the pieces that this switch is made out of, we have a single stage spring that has an operating force of 35 grams plus or minus five grams. We have a POC dust proof stem, which has a total travel of 3.8 millimeters. So it's long pull, but just by the slightest bit. We have the POC or the POK top housing. And as we can see, this is not like your older Akko CS switches. We're dealing with four leg tops instead of wing latch tops. Then we have the bottom housing, which again, I would only be guessing if I said what material it was made out of, but it does look like it is a linear leaf spring in there. Again, we have what looks like to be a bit of a deeper well with the hole at the bottom. The Accu Dracula also is one of the first Akko switches to include a light diffuser which really makes for a difference. You can see how bright that is. It really enhances uh, the RGB um, but on video. It's a bit too bright, so let's go ahead and turn that off for right now. This is a very nice, deeper sounding, long pole, but just barely. But it's definitely for those that prefer a nice deeper sound as well as a nice light weight spring. So I've gone ahead and loaded up a batch of these Akko Dracula in a stock Ring 75. I did not have an Akko board that I could modify at the moment, um, though I will come back to this switch because I really do think that this has an interesting sound. I don't know if it's because of the POK or a combination of the way that it's designed and the way that it strikes, as well as that air vent that it has. But I think that you guys will be surprised at how it sounds. I've used this rainy and other sound tests, so you guys can have a baseline by listening to it. Now, I do have some Akko keycaps, but none of them are in the Cherry profile. And one of the things that I like to do is the first sound test that I do, whether it be with a switch or with a keyboard, I use Cherry Profile keys. So I've got a set of Dye Sub 
Cherry PBT Oblivion. And I'm gonna go ahead and load these up for the sound test. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with the stock sound test of the Echo Dracula on a stock Rainy 75 with these die sub cherry PBT keycaps. Um, I hope that you'll appreciate that while it's not a silent switch, it is a more muted or quiet switch, but it is a deeper tone. I quite enjoy the way the switch sounds and I'm looking forward to reviewing some of Akko's latest offerings because they really are upping the game, not only with their keyboards, but with their switches as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.